What's going on everyone? Today we are going to be taking a look at my large scale Thomas collection. We are going to be looking at steam locomotives as well as some rolling stock. First we'll take a look at Thomas the tank engine. I got this model in our ready to run train set. It also included Annie and Clarabelle. This train measures over one foot long. Looking more close at the train you'll notice little details such as the headlamp in the front, a separately applied whistle, and also some coupling rods. It also features a roof that can be easily removed so that you can put little figurines inside. The coal load looks pretty realistic, and the buffers have a nice clean look to them. Looking at the face, I have to say it doesn't look half bad. Some people complain because they think the nose is too big, but you know, it doesn't really look that bad in person. Over the years, it does appear that the model has lost some paint, but the model still is in really good shape and it runs very nice. Overall, Thomas is a pretty nice model. Next we have Percy. Just like Thomas, I got this model in a ready to run train set, and it came with the two troublesome trucks. Percy features a lot of external details that you won't find on the regular HO model. And the face on this engine is worlds better than the HO Percy. Look how much better the large scale Percy's face looks compared to the HO. The HO looks atrocious, but the large scale Percy is a refreshing new look. This model also is about a foot long. Next, we'll take a look at Emily. Emily is the largest model train that I own. Now, unfortunately, I don't have Emily's coaches, but that's something that I'd like to get in the future. Fun fact, most Thomas trains that you see in the TV show were based off of real trains from British Railways. This model of Emily did a great job representing the TV show, and it looks great running on your large-scale railway. The tender for this model also has a nice coal load, and Bachman did a great job putting all the details on the trucks. The face on this model, I don't even think it looks much different compared to the original TV show. It looks basically the same. Now some of you might disagree with that, but that's just my opinion. What I also really like about this train is the paint job. Like I said before, green is my favorite color and there's just something about that emerald green that makes this train look so sharp. Now this model does have some heft to it, so if you have little kids, I would definitely suggest you supervise them when they're running this train. Last but not least, we have Toby. Out of all of the large scale models, I think that Toby looks most like the original TV show. The paint job is spot on. And looking at Toby's face, you can see in his expression what kind of train he is. He's a very kind train and tries his best to help the other engines. This is a train that would be pretty neat to open up because it's really just a big hollow box with a motor at the bottom. And here's one of the best things that they did with this model. The bell on top of the engine is separately applied and it also has this little rope attached to it. This is so much better than the HO model. With the HO model, we didn't get these ropes. Instead, we just got this cheesy looking plastic mold and it just doesn't look right. It would be nice if Bachman would update this model and include this little detail on top. It makes such a big difference. Now, the one thing that I'd complain about with this model is the fact that there's no openings in it. Now how are kids supposed to put figurines in the cab? All of the other models featured roofs that easily came off and you could put little figurines inside if you wanted to. But with Toby, you just get this black covering and you can't put anything inside the model. Now the reason I think that they didn't make this open was the fact that this model has a moving eye mechanism and if this was exposed, you would just see a bunch of wires and stuff and that wouldn't be any good. Even so, I still wish that these sides were open. Other than that, Toby is a very nice model. Now let's take a look at Annie and Clarabelle. These two passenger cars really have a lot of character. They have nice bright paint jobs and the coolest thing about them the roofs are detachable. This makes it real easy for you to put passengers inside of your cars. Both of these train cars have nice little details like the red around the buffers, and the faces look just like the TV show I remember. On the sides of the car, you'll see Annie and Clarabelle. This makes it very easy to tell which car is which. It's also neat that they enclose the cars with this glass. This makes it look more realistic. Unfortunately, the doors do not swing open, but that's really not a big deal. The wheels on these train cars have a nice metal construction to them. Now, these are the only passenger cars that I have and usually these trains have to share them so hopefully in the future I'll get some new passenger cars. And last but not least, we have the troublesome trucks. I love the expressions on these troublesome trucks. They look so good. They look just like the TV show and these trucks just scream with trouble. Very nice paint jobs and a ton of little details that you won't recognize on the HO model simply because of their size. That's what's so neat about these large trains. You can really appreciate the little details with these large scale models. All of the little rivets on the sides and the details in the trucks. 
Very impressive. I have absolutely no complaints with these models. And there you have it, guys. This is my entire large-scale Bachman Thomas collection. If you're considering purchasing some large-scale Bachman Thomas trains, just keep in mind that they are very large pieces and they require a lot of room to make a proper layout. In fact, many people don't even run these trains indoors. Most people run them on garden railways outside. Maybe this winter I'll make a video running these trains out in the snow. Here's a size comparison of the large-scale models compared to the little HO models. HO track measures about one inch wide, while large scale track is about two inches wide. I hope that Bachman continues to make these large scale models. Hopefully someday we'll have engines like Gordon, Henry, and Edward. That would be really something. Okay guys, so this has been my entire large scale Bachman Thomas collection. Thanks for watching and have a great day.